I'm Takash Harada of Kindle University. My presentation title is Singularity Free Model Changes of a Redundantly Driven Two Limbs 6DOF Parallel Robot. The Parallel Robot has excellent mechanical characteristics such as high speed, high positional accuracy, high load carrying capacity, and high rigidity. The Parallel Robot is good at transcendental motions but bad at panning, shooting, and especially the worst at rotating the gripper. In order to achieve the large rotation of the gripper, some mechanical gimmicks, such as gear and pulley, have been embedded in the moving platform. I introduced the other mechanical gimmick for enlarging the rotation workspace by a differential screw. By changing the distance between the two nuts, the screw pair is rotated, as shown in the video. We developed two links, 6 f parallel robot. The differential screw is embedded in the moving platform. Each limb is controlled by one linear actuator and three motors. This animation demonstrates the motion of the robot. Two limbs drive the moving part to the X, Y, and Z directions. Differential screw rotates the gripper. In addition, you can see the moving part is tilting, panning, and rotating by two limbs. The robot was named as Kinder Atarigi Carrier. Atarigi is a long wooden pestle, a cooking instrument of Japanese cuisine. The precession motion of the robot mimics the Japanese chef using an atarigi. So we named the robot as atarigi. Atarigi can be regarded as 7DOF mechanism, redundantly actuated by 8 actuators. Fire robot has multiple solutions to the inverse and forward kinematics. By changing configurations from one solution to another, the pile robot can expand its workspace. However, non-redundant pile robot encounters singular configurations during the model changes. The actuation redundancy contributes to avoiding the singularities during the model changes. In the presentation, I will present the singularity-free model changes of a tree. This slide quickly shows the results of the research. You can see Atarigi extends the workspace from the bottom area painted by blue to the upper area painted by red via a singularity free model changes using the actuation redundancy. This slide shows Jacobian analysis between eight actuators and 7DOF mechanism. JX is the Jacobian matrix of the indefta side, and JQ is the Jacobian matrix of the actuator side. We have derived the Jacobian matrices of Atarigi in the previous research as shown in these equations. Next, I will show the singularity analysis of the indefta side of Atarigi. The determinants of 7x7 seven seven minor matrix JXBI, which drops ice roll of the 8x7 matrix JXB, are given as these equations. When the unit direction vector xi5 of the distal arm is perpendicular to the unit direction vector w of the moving part, as shown in the bottom figure, Atarigi encounters the indefinite singularity. At that time, Atarigi cannot control the 7 DOF mechanism. This singular pose must be avoided during the model changes. I summarize the singularity analysis of the actuator side in this slide. Determinants of the Jacobian matrix JQ is given by the top equation. There are three critical postures of each limb which makes the determinants of the Jacobian matrix to zero, as shown in the figures. 
We investigated the rank of the Jacobian matrix as shown in the table. For example, the condition 7a, surrounded by blue box, corresponds to that the first rim of Atarigi encounters the yellow critical posture. At that time, the rank of the Jacobian matrix becomes 7. In this condition, Atarigi loses the redundancy but keeps the actuator non singularity for driving the 7 DOF mechanism. We are going to propose the singular free mode changes by passing the condition 7s in the table of the non redundant but non singular. This slide represents the singularity free working mode change passing the green critical condition. As shown in the bottom left animation, the elbow of the second rim switches between over and under by applying the mode change. In the same way, you can see in the bottom right animation that the elbow of the first rim switches between over and under by applying the mode change. This slide represents the singularity free working mode change passing the yellow critical condition. As shown in the bottom left animation, the elbow of the first rim switches between over and under. At that time, the gripper simultaneously switches between down and up by applying the mode change. You can see it's the same configuration switch for the second rim and the gripper as shown in the bottom right animation. By the combination of the singularity free working mode changes, Atarigi switches between the top left posture of the elbows over and the gripper down and the top right posture of the elbows under and the gripper up. The bottom left animation represents the posture switch from the elbows over and the gripper down to the elbows under and the gripper up. The bottom right animation represents the posture switch from the elbows under and the gripper up to the elbows over and the gripper down. You can see the Atarigi expands its operating space both in the bottom and upper areas as shown in the animations. We have developed the first prototype of Atarigi. We designed the length of the arms as 100 mm. We made the links by 3D printer. The material is plastic. This video demonstrates the motion of the prototype. Firstly, Atarigi drives the moving part along X, Y, and Z directions. Second, Rategi rotates the differential screw. Next, the moving part is tilting, panning, and rotating. Then, Atari switches from the elbows over and the gripper down to the elbows under and the gripper up. After that, Atari drives the moving part in the upper working area. Then Atari switches from the elbows under and the gripper up to the elbows over and the gripper down. I'd like to conclude the presentation. We proposed a novel singularity free mode changes of a redundant redirection two links, six DOF parallel robot at Arigi. The proposed motions were confirmed by the prototype. Thank you for your attention.